I'm Frosty Gaming, and welcome back to another Unity Beginner Basics video. I'm going to begin by apologizing because I'm, I'm a little sick, and I'm going to be drinking some tea while I do this, but uh, if my voice sounds a little hoarse, I'm sorry. So today we're learning about GitHub and version control with Unity. Now, something that's really important when you're doing game development, or any kind of software development really, is that you use version control. Now, version control is basically like it's like a backup kind of so think about it like you're in a video game and you're playing the game and then you uh, you're saving every now and then and then you do something wrong in the game you know, like you kill somebody you're not supposed to kill or whatever and you go back and you're like oh well I gotta go back to the last save and try not to do that next time well that's like reverting back in version control and what version control allows you to do is work with other people really easily it allows you to keep uh, extensive backups and comments about all the changes that have been made and you can go back to any point in time you can work with a bunch of other people at the same time merge your changes together and it is just really nice and everyone should use it for any kind of code base I'm gonna be talking about github and the github windows client in this video because that's what I use you can also use the command line a little bit more work I think in my opinion but a lot of people use that instead you don't have to use github there are other version control software out there and I'll talk a little bit more about that later so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to github I'll put this link in the description down below this is where you can download the github for Windows client it looks like this I'm gonna show a bit to you later there is one for Mac if you want that and there's a lot of resources for how to use it online, but I'm just going to be kind of giving you a summary. So one thing to know with GitHub, before we get into it, is it doesn't allow for private repositories unless you pay for it. So here are the plans and pricing. So basically, you get zero private repositories for free. You can do unlimited collaborators, unlimited public repositories. But basically, this means that people can see everything that you're doing and they can fork your repository if they want so if you're working on a game and you don't want people to know what you're working on you don't want people to have your code base then you might want to either pay seven dollars a month for five private repositories or you can use bitbucket now bitbucket is nice because they have five users for free and they let you do as many private repositories as you want but this is key you can only do five users for that repository for those repositories so if you're working with a team of like 10 people, which is what I was doing on my last project, I have too many people working on this code base. We made use of this for a while, but uh, I'm going to be switching over to GitHub because I got the private repositories. That's something to keep in mind. It's really nice if you're not working with a bunch of people that are going to be messing with the code base. That is an option. And if we go to my GitHub, you can see I've got a bunch of these repositories, which is basically different code bases, different projects. Now they have really good tutorials on how to use all of this stuff. I'm also going to be taking you through the process. So if you have not created a user on GitHub, I highly suggest you do. And then you'll have this like profile. And you can create a new repository. I'm going to call this Unity Example. Just uh, Example Repository for Unity. I'm going to keep it public because I don't um, don't want to make this one of my private repositories. Um, and I'll initialize it with a readme. It doesn't really matter, but a readme just helps. And you should uh, have a really detailed readme on your project and how to set it up. You can choose to add a git ignore if you want. I actually have not looked to see if they have a... They do have a Unity one. I'm curious... I've never seen that. I'm not going to do any licenses or anything. I want to see what's in this. So yeah, this is uh, this is very similar to the one that I use. Literally, you don't even have to worry about the gitignore file. The gitignore file is basically saying, these are the files in my project, in my repository, that I don't want to be passing back and forth between people. I don't want to be putting it up to the repository. I want to keep it on my machine and my machine only. And that's because these are usually auto-generated by Unity and by your project. So you don't need to pass them between people. So we have our repository. We have to connect this repository to our Windows client. 
you see here I have a clone and desktop and I've got this URL take this URL and I'll drag it in and you can see that I've got this little symbol next to my mouse meaning that it's gonna drag it into there so you can do that or you can just clone and desktop and then it asks you where you want it I'm gonna put it I usually put it in my documents github where it says so I'm gonna say okay to that and it's just gonna clone it in there now if you don't have this open and logged in to the Windows client it's gonna open the application for you so you launch the application you log in and then it would give you that uh, like folder structure so we have our initial commit and with this and this is now on our computer so if we go to my documents and then we go to github you'll see unity example is there although all we have is a readme and a getting norfolk we don't have our project file in there and my project file is in my documents I have this unity github example so I'm just gonna copy that paste it in here now I have my project now if I go back to the Windows client you'll see I have this uncommitted changes and I can show those these are all the different things that have changed because that's my entire project so I can say added initial project uh, and I don't really need a description it's just an example but uh, if you wanted to go into more detail you can do that you can commit to master and then we have these unsynced changes so this commit is just saying alright I've got this package of stuff that's changed I want to put it up to the repo but it's not on the repo yet I have to click this sync button and it has one uh, commit going up which means my version is the newest version because I've made changes and the repository has not changed so we want to push these up to the repo and if we hit sync it'll do that and we're good and if we go back to github and we refresh this page we now have our project file with all the things in it and now anybody who wants since it's public could clone this in their desktop so yeah that's basically how to set up unity with github and uh, how a very simplistic version of how version control works if you want to get into it more there's a lot of resources online I would definitely recommend it sometimes there will be problems with scenes where you make a scene change and those files are really convoluted and hard to tell what changed but you don't want to get these conflicts where somebody made a scene change and somebody else made a scene change and they don't combine together and it's uh, it's a mess so somebody changes are gonna have to be thrown out and then you have to redo them and blah 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 so yeah I hope you enjoyed this uh, video I hope you got something from it and start using version control if you haven't it's really good. Alright, see you later.